meal prepping for the next few days. I think I can last about four days with this. And I know it's four days of eating the same thing, but this is my life. This is survival mode, but survival slash I still want to be healthy. Is this ASMR? This is how I drain, squeeze, press, I don't know how you say it, tofu. <laughs> I didn't have any other ideas. But I mean, it kind of works. Look, it's all wet. I'm a tofu noob and I wonder why I haven't tried more of it because it's not that expensive and it's super easy to make I just season it since plain unseasoned tofu just tastes like nothing there's salt, there's za'atar mix, there's cumin, basically it's all the spices that I own I'm gonna um, put these in the frying pan for about 5 minutes and then into the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and crispy and then I add that to my quinoa salad and protein. I just have to remember, because I did that last time, that this is for two days. Two days. But when I'm serving, I'm often distracted and I just put everything and I'm like, I'm really full today. Well, yeah, it's because you ate a whole <laughs> rectangle of tofu. So I have a doctor's appointment this morning. Pretty nervous about it. Gotta get ready for it. Isn't it weird though that getting ready for a doctor's visit is kind of like getting ready for a date? I don't know if it's just me. But just scrubs herself clean before a doctor's appointment <laughs> or if other people do it too I mean does anyone else get ready like take more care before going to the doctor because it certainly is the the case for me probably because I'm nervous uh, it makes me feel more calm who else does this it's the next day the doctor's appointment went quite well it was a new doctor in a new clinic I hadn't been there before but I had to get some uh, exams done I did get quite a few answers finally over like some things that had been bothering me bothering me for years so it's kind of like okay finally an answer that makes sense an answer that doesn't send me <laughs> around for an, another vast array of tests so I'm very satisfied with that I'm very satisfied with the exchange I had with my doctor there also even if it was the first time I appreciate when doctors are um, well, I mean, kindness is one thing, but when they're like direct with me, when they say like, it's this and because of this, and they explain things to me, they don't like, what's the expression in, Ingr in English? In English, beating around the bush. They don't beat around the bush. They don't say like, oh, it might be this, it might be that. They say, they, exp they say what they think it is and they explain why they think it is and I don't know I don't know if that makes sense but I really appreciated that from uh, from her I did also get a pap smear and uh, I'm mentioning this uh, because I think a lot of girls who watch my channel or are either my age or younger than me and I think that it's an important topic that we don't speak about enough because it might be something that seems scary that sounds scary but that is necessary for your health you need to do it frequently you need to get it you know you need to get checked up we need to take care of our female health so um, if you haven't done yours in quite a while look it up and for those who have never done one before because they're scared or because you know covid or they haven't had time or whatever uh, and wonder what it's like i know that zoella uh, speaks about it very well she explains it in her way and i 
I really like how she goes around and spreading spreading awareness about it. For me, it's not painful. It's discomfort. It's you know you feel that something's going on and it's not fun, but it's from. Me at least, it's not painful, but then again, it's different for every other girl. So that's my little contribution to uh, female health awareness. And uh, yeah, get yours done. So I want to see with Pachi if he can do the jump over the toilet paper thing <laughs> for food. He's very food motivated, so we might be able to do it my issue is that the only place where i can do it is here and as you can see it's very very narrow so um <laughs> i'm gonna give it a try i have some cardboard boxes in case i don't have enough toilet paper i just bought like the big family pack i did need to buy some anyway so i'm not like throwing away my money on content though i could but now's not the time um <laughs> So this is all I have, which not, might not end up being a lot, but I'm going to do level by level and then maybe add some cardboard boxes because hey, I live in boxes. You ready? Get it. Pachi. Ah. Oh, come on. <laughs> Whoa. C'est bien, Pachi. Ah, you cheat. <laughs> Whoa. I think he's done. <laughs> Good boy. I'm not gonna show you a close up, but someone puked. You can see the stain there, there, there. On the bathroom door, someone projectile vomited. Oh my god. At least I have a lifetime supply of toilet papers to clean it up. YouTube content. Ah!